regarding the sexual desire of myself yeah. when I will feel sexually erected I will <laughs> I will masturbate and try what kind of mindset woman is quite happy to sleep with a stranger for 10 minutes in the intention of coming back to the first husband the prophet he didn't yeah, divorce yeah. only for, of his wife he have 11 wife he used to go <laughs> and sleep with them and fondle them and fondle them and they had a bath with them while they were having the uh, listen listen please wait wait this is how your bible teach when you want to divorce a woman how you treat her okay carry on 229 all right a divorce is permissible only twice after that the husband should either retra retain their wife together on equitable term or let them go with kindness all right uh, this is the, the rest yeah it's not lawful for you men to take back any of your gift or dowry ah, right. from your wives except when both party fear that they would be unable to keep the limit ordained by Allah okay if you judge or do indeed fear they would be unable to keep the limit ordained by Allah there's no blame on either of them if she give something for her freedom so if their dowry between men and w and women and she uh, say that i will give away this dowry just to to get divorced it's allowed and permissible as she uh, give it just to get rid of her husband if in case she won't divorce but he can divorce her twice and he's not allowed to take her back take her back before she get another so the, before, the, what? Before, what? Be, be, before she get divorced from the other husband. Who, so who is the other husband? After she get divorced and she wait her time period of three months and uh, from the other husband if he him, he so divorced her. She let, let me let me let me carry on <laughs> till I there's no blame to either of them if she got something for her freedom. There's limit ordained by Allah. So do not transgress them if any do transgress the limit ordained by Allah such person is wrong so if somebody is not apl apply the law of God that means he's a, an oppressor and going against God's law now 230 chapter 2 so if a husband divorce his wife <laughs> irrecoverably, irrecoverably he cannot, after that, be married her until after she had married, has married another husband and has divorced, has divorced her. In that case, there is no blame on either of them if they feel they can keep the limit ordained by Allah, such is the limit of Allah. So let me ask my question. Thanks for reading. Thank you. So now you divorced your wife for the third time. You want to take your wife back. Your wife is going to marry with that Muslim. And then that Muslim is going to divorce your wife for you to for your wife to reconcile with you. When she comes home after she slept with someone else in the intention to coming back to you, what kind of conversations are you going to have with her on her first night? Is it going to be... Habibi, I love you so much. Or is it gonna be, Habibi, what did you do? Ah. Or tell me what kind of sex did you have? Yes. You slept <laughs> for, with Come strangers <laughs> just for me, Habibi. Ah, okay. I love you. Ah, yeah, that's a good question. So, did you juice? <laughs> To be honest, each <laughs> woman, <laughs> each woman have her sense of fragrance, and if the man, after he divorced his wife three times, and another man have smelled her fragrance, and even he didn't like her, he divorced her, and her uh, uh, first husband, he's still 
uh, keen on her. I don't find it a problem because uh, the guy, he is in love with her. I, I don't understand why he divorced her in the beginning if he in such love with her. I think, I think that's something also in some point I agree with you. There is the part I don't understand. I don't understand the wisdom of Allah when Allah forces women to go and have sex with stranger. I don't understand the wisdom of woman or the mind of woman. What kind of woman would go and have sex with stranger and then taste his juice or her juice and then come back to the first husband like nothing, nothing happened? happened. <laughs> Why That's the thing I don't, I don't understand. What kind of mindset does Islam give you the moment you say, I worship Allah Almighty. Yes, right. The moment you say, I will fully submit to Muhammad, <laughs> suddenly your heart is been taken out, given to the dog, or the whatever, which animal eats the heart, whatever. Now you are heartless. Only not you are heartless, but your brain cells stuck in freezer, fridge, and they are frozen, they don't work. What kind of mindset would be quite happy to go and have sex with a stranger in the intention to go back to first husband. Uh, Can you please I, explain that mindset? I, 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 I will try to explain as much as I possible can. I and like please don't interrupt me. I don't know why you put it in a way that when this woman, she got divorced and she went and get married with another person and after, let's say, one year or two years she got divorced from this man and her husband <coughs> he's still keen on her to maybe they have a children or they have uh, a, an intimate uh, uh, relationship and he want to come back to her why you putting it in a way that it's it's all about sex because a, ma a man <laughs> it's, all about, a, uh, it's not it's not it's not about only sex is about relationship between a man and a woman. Maybe they have their their own problem and they come to settle it down and he divorced her and she went and married and then she somehow is still, uh, is still available after she got divorced and he's keen on her. So why not? Uh, this is a marriage. It's marriage. Wait, it's marriage, and it's it's a lawful way by marriage to enjoy sex. Let me respond. 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 I heard the I heard the story you told, and I'm not that much movie person, but I believe if I turn on BBC, even ITV, I can watch the similar movie. A woman is divorced. Life is awful divorce. She went to Costa, she met with someone, she married, and then marriage was hard again. She got divorced again. <laughs> and then a year after, again under the moon, she saw you and she remembered you were her first love. That happens on the movie, and it's a good movie. But, but the problem is, the description Quran is giving to you yeah. is not when you divorce, Woman went and then met with someone under the moon or under the stars <laughs> and then got divorced after a years of marriage. That's not the verse or not the story Quran is telling. Quran, the story is Quran telling is you divorced him, you divorced her, woke up, you woke up in the morning, you can't find your socks, you can't, you can't get your breakfast, you don't even know how to do the laundry. You don't even know. Actually, where are the clean dishes? You never done anything in the house. Now you remember. Where is my wife? Oh, oh, oh. I divorced her yesterday. I want her back. I need her. I never knew I love her so much. That's the moment when you can't find anything. She's the one and only love you have. You want her back. How do you get her back? You have to wait uh, three months till she check if she's pregnant or not in case she's not pregnant and she get married with somebody else you have to wait till he divorce her 
when he divorced her, she have to wait another three months. <laughs> then you have the pleasure to come back to her. And now let's talk. So that's a now, pleasure. Now, Just one. Now, no, 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 no. I, I have a question. I have a question. All right. Let's open your Bible and see how your Bible treats the divorcee women. Yes, we will, we will open that. By the right. way, not to treat the divorcee woman because in Christian scripture, you cannot divorce. So, let me just put it no, in no, the context. I did it for the camera. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, Yahya, Yahya, I know, I know issue is not your wife went and slept with stranger. Issue is whole six months. She had to wait three months until she go and have sex with someone else and then have to wait three more months until she figures out she's not um, pregnant from that sex. Whole six months. She was what married. What are married. you gonna do? What are you gonna do without socks? What are you gonna do not knowing where are the clean dishes? Ah. What are you gonna do? No one cooks food for you now, yeah, yeah. Still you are without missing socks. House is messed up. No underwear. If you're no talking underwear, it's all messed up. I don't, if you're is, talking about me. I can understand it is very hard life for a man yeah, yeah. who causes, causes his wife to go and sleep with stranger in the intention of saving the marriage. Okay. It is very hard. It is so hard. Who cares about the woman Apologies. who went, <laughs> who went, <laughs> uh, who went no, and then tasted juice of strangers. Wow. Who cares about her feelings? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who, all, all the concern is poor man. Whole six months without socks, without clean dishes, without food, <laughs> clean underwear. dirty house, clean, not clean underwear. <laughs> Everything is messed up. All right. He can't even separate recycling rubbish and non-recyclable rubbish. Yeah, yeah. And all happens is this poor woman, soon after she get divorced from the sex she had with a stranger in the intention of coming back to the husband, all she's gonna do is now think about on her first night with her first love, all she's gonna do is, oh, I need to be quicker to make sure my husband got all the socks correct. <laughs> I need to be quicker, make sure my husband gets the dinner on time okay. so I don't end up in that situation. Right. Yeah, yeah, my question was very simple. What kind of mindset woman has, woman is quite happy to sleep with a stranger for 10 minutes in the intention of coming back to the first husband. Would you agree with me? Soon after she identifies herself as a Muslim, her brains are frozen. Brain cells are frozen. Switched off. Switched off or frozen. Mm. They don't move. <laughs> okay? Therefore, she doesn't do any thinking. <laughs> because if woman, doesn't matter if any human being is thinking, they would say, there is something not wise at all in this. I have to marry with a stranger to come back to my first husband. And of course, I would question the mindset of man, even though whole six months without socks, without clean underwear, whole. What's wrong with you, brother? Listen, listen to what she's saying. Whole. I'm listening. Focus, focus, focus. Whole six months. Focus, Mr. Biggs. Life is very poor for you, but how can you take her back? How can you on your first night? Are you are you gonna tell her, Habibi? Thank you for what you've done for to save our marriage, or are you gonna say her, I didn't know you love me so much. Let's let me make it bark like a dog or use her. What's gonna happen? What is the what is happening in her brain? What is happening in her heart? What is happening in her first husband's heart and brain? Okay. When you talk about me. If you're talking about me, if if in case I divorce my woman, I will uh, try to cook to myself. Uh, I will try to iron my clothes. Uh, I will try to uh, <laughs> fold cook yourself. Uh, the bed uh, and nice and the socks. Don't worry about the socks because I will I will buy 12, 12 uh, pair of socks okay. and get a new one. And I know how to use the washing machine. 
regarding the sexual desire of myself yeah. when I will feel sexually erected I will must <laughs> I will I will must aroused not erected I will must be aroused not erected I will must I will masturbate and try try get a boot or, or fast <laughs> uh, is that allowed in Islam uh, is that allowed in Islam masturbation is allowed in case where does it say well, I'm gonna explain it to give you give me the Quranic verse for that ah ok according 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 to me according to me is that hadith or? according to me not hadith ah, to according to me uh, this is Yahya's hadith uh, ah, yeah, Yahya's, okay. Yahya's hadith ah, according okay. to me <laughs> to prevent Enter and lawful intercourse. You're yeah. allowed to masturbate just to kill your desire <laughs> and not go and pay 20 pounds or 25 pounds, as she said, for three minutes yeah, yeah. <laughs> or 15 minutes. <laughs> so you say you save yourself from adultery by masturbating. You save yourself from adultery. It is good that it is good that you see muta marriage is adultery. It is good that you see muta marriage is adultery. Besides, that will teach you not to divorce your woman because you already have pays the dowry, so you don't have to do your socks, do your food, and masturbate. Ah, okay. So thank you for identifying <laughs> oh, thank you. Muta marriage is <laughs> beautiful. Ah, That's absolutely you. fine. <laughs> um, just that action which you are thinking to do is not allowed in Islam. Okay. But that, that's not, I'm not going to yeah, discuss I'm so talking about Yahya. Yeah. But, but regardless I, just the woman, to, I just want to bring up something the woman, to your attention. I don't know about the women how they think. Because they are different. We are different from each other. The woman if she feels that she loves her husband after she got divorced, she wants to come back to him, it's up to her. Let's now say, take one verse from the Bible and see how the Bible treats women. Uh, geometry 124. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I will I, say it again. Deuteronomy. 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 Whatever you said. 124. All right. It says. What it says. If a man, if a man marry a woman and she didn't please him sexually and he find her uh, smell bad, he can divorce her and kick her out of his house. Let's check. Let's check. If she get married again, another man, yeah. and he find her yeah. not sexually attractive and smelly, yeah. that filthy, not and clean, I, according to him, he can kick her off his house again, and she get, she can go away. Ah, okay. And Islam, if <laughs> I am married to somebody, yeah. I cannot kick her from my house yeah. because it's her house, and I have to go, and I have to go out. Because the Quran states that it's her house, not mine. Open so, it and read it. Um, can I just point out something? Your reference is wrong. Give me the right reference. But the issue is, I want to... I try to find it. Yeah, I try go, and to get, find it. go and get your Bible. The what issue is, is, it is amazing how Muslim man, without any shame, is quite happy for his wife to marry with a stranger, actually not marry, have a sex with a stranger in the intention of coming back and he was even able to make two, fun two. of it. I think it is very, very bad. It is very, very bad. Give me the right reference, Yahya. So now we identified Islam is messed up. But, uh, Which direction you go, it is all uh, messed up. Before we move to that one, let me he give again, you some... Agreed, like, let uh, me tell you uh, how does marriage work in Christian scripture. All right. Give full attention, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, uh, yeah, I'm listening. Okay, because I will ask you to repeat what I said. All right. Okay. I will ask you to repeat what I said. Go so here is the marriage in Christian scripture. All right. We look at the marriage because we have a God who is identified as Triune God. Okay. Tri triune God, yeah. God the Father, His love out of the world, He sends His Son to die on the cross for the sin of mankind. Mama, what a killer he is. As as the Son of God, He lays down His life on the cross for humanity. He offers Himself to humanity. Huh. He proposes to humanity, those who turn away from their sin and then accept what Lord Jesus Christ did on the cross for them, He proposes them. 
We see that as a biblical marriage. Jesus is our bridegroom. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, he's yeah, 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 the groom. He's the gro yeah. groom. Groom. And we are identified as the bride, who is the church. Uh, exactly. As we look at the scripture, yeah. Christian scripture doesn't tell us in the beginning when God created Adam and Eve. Full attention, Yaya. Yeah, yeah. I'm listening, listening. Adam and Steve. <laughs> not Adam and baby Aisha. Not Adam and Aisha and Sophia and Zainab and all others. No, I have twelve wives. <laughs> no, I have twelve wives. Yeah. It's, get... it's Adam and Eve. I love the evidence about let the me, uh, Aisha's let me age, ah. and let me you let have me it. Finish. You have it on your DCCI, yeah. and you have it on soccer no, but, film. No, let, let I always leave evidence yeah. and references and the sources as well. Ah, right. So God did not create. Yeah. Adam and Eve, oh, sorry, Adam and <laughs> Adam and Steve. Adam and Steve. Adam and Steve. No, but Adam, Adam and Eve. Adam and Aisha and Zainab and Sophia and uh -huh. then Hafsa yeah. and Sauda. Yeah. 25 God, million wives. God created Adam and Eve. And the slaves too. Who were yeah. capable. Uh, yeah, yeah. And the slaves and the slaves. To and the look slaves after too, yeah. God's creation. And war booty. <laughs> and war booty. And well. that their marriage, it is amazing. Adam sees this woman, yeah. and then we get to see first love story, first poem. I will, I will, I will, I will, I will, I will. First poem, man is giving to woman. Yeah, yeah. Full ears, please, full ears, and if it is necessary, full eyes. Put, them, put it on, put it on. Put no, it on. I can see you without okay. the glasses. Only for reading, I need the glasses. And marriage took place between Adam and Eve was until death set them apart okay okay so uh, that is our principal cult man and woman marries marriage is very hard but when you focus your eyes when you gaze your heart upon christ lord jesus all transforms that marriage and we don't get divorced no so therefore what a something pity. It's not a pity. What a pity. Is that what you see? It's a, it's a we, pity because... We see, we see how because it is, how it is serious uh, look and important. Society, look at your society. Look at your society. Look at how I many single mom. I look at divorce. Him. There's no divorce in Christianity. No, yeah. no, there are adultery in Christianity. No. Yep. Sorry, I, I as, respond uh, to you your cannot, brother. Dave. As you cannot divorce your wife because you gazed your eyes on someone else, as you can't uh, go and sleep around in Christian scripture, all you have to do is love your wife as Christ loved the church. He gave his self for the church. That's the biblical marriage. Perfect. So, what was your reference, Yaya? Geometry, uh, uh, go on 24 <laughs> one. Like whatever the name is, I, I cannot pronounce it. I cannot pronounce it, man. D E U. Practice, practice, D E U. It's fine. My, it's fine. My, my, mine is not, my English is not very good as well. It's fine. Twenty-five. Sorry, twenty-five. Twenty-four. Let me read it, please. No, give me the reference. Uh, uh, twenty-four. Uh, uh, let me read it, please. From, from verse one to one. Yeah, uh, from from here to here. From verse one to. From here to here. One to five. Yeah. Okay. Listen, listen, please, wait, wait. This is how your Bible teach when you want to divorce a woman, how you treat her. Okay? Carry on. Read it. Not when you want. No. Just a correction. Yeah, correction. Not when you want. When? When you want to divorce. When everything go wrong and there is divorce to come soon. Please. Can you rephrase that again? There is no divorce. When? When your heart is hardened. When your heart. You focus your gaze. Else, okay. And you decided to go against the will of God. Okay. God gives one of those laws yeah. in the Old Testament. Okay. I read it to you. Okay. Okay. Moses. Uh, Moses gives, not God. God gives law to the Moses. <laughs> if a man marries a woman, who becomes displeasing to him because he finds something indecent about her, and he writes her a certificate of divorce, gives it to her, and sends her from his house. From his? 
from his house. So you kick her I out? Have, just a moment. Oh, sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll sorry. I, I'm sorry. And if, after she leaves his house, she becomes the wife of another man, and the second husband dislikes her, and writes her a certificate of divorce, gives it to her, and sends her from his house. And if he dies, then the first husband who divorced her is not allowed to marry her, not, not allowed to marry her again after she has been defiled. That would be detestable, detestable in the eyes of the Lord. Do not bring sin upon the land of the Lord. Your God is giving you as an inheritance. If a man has recently married, I haven't finished the. I, I said that, that, only. That's, that's what you picked. Yeah, I'm yeah, gonna yeah, read the whole context. chapter. Yeah, the whole chapter yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, okay. If a man has recently married, oh, before I move to the verse five, let me just summarize what I read in case your eyes were gazing on something else you didn't listen. Yeah, yeah. Can, can, so, can I comment on your reading? No, 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 no I will give you. I will give you time. Copy. I'm gonna make sure you understand. She's very kind. It. Thank you very much. So, okay. As Yahya brought up this verse, can I just get everyone's attention? All right. Allah steps in in seventh century. Muhammad steps in in seventh century, and then goes against the law of Moses because the very passage I read yeah. it says actually you can't go back to your first husband. It's not that simple. Yeah. Versus what Muhammad says, it's very simple. Five minutes sex will sort it out. So verse five. Did you get that part here? Uh, carry okay. on, carry on. I don't want to interrupt because I'm if very man, very respectable man. Wow. <laughs> Can we see your respectable face? Is that your respectable face? This That's is my face. I'm not going to put uh, <laughs> 300 faces in one second. That's all the face you get. That's all. That would be nice. That would be nice. If a man has recently married, he, m he must not be sent to the war or have any other duty laid on him. For one year, he has to be free to stay at home and bring happiness to the wife he has married. You married, take your marriage seriously. Say you one year with to, her. You can't go around. For a pleasure. You can't go to. You can't go to war. Your duty is as a husband and wife. Make sure. <laughs> I'm listening, I'm listening. Your duty as a husband and wife <laughs> to get to know each other, enjoy each other's company. For one Bring year, not happiness. 15 minutes. Not three seconds or not three minutes, 25 yeah, pounds. Yeah, 25 oh, pounds, yeah. uh, quickie. This is before, <laughs> Stand up one. if you have to go to war, you can't go to war because you just married, you've got one year as kind of as to get to know each other. Yeah, right. to have a baby. Do not well. take a pair of months, milestones, not even an upper one, as a security for a debt, because that would be taking man's livelihood as a security. If a man is caught kidnapping one of his brother Israelites and treats him as the slaves or sells him, the kidnapper must die. You must purge the evil from among you. Um, I guess it's enough till here. Uh, let me comment uh, a little bit on. Uh, so the context of that is what? Happened? The context is. No, let, let, may I? May I? May I have the pleasure? That's may I have the blessing? May blessing of holding my book. My book doesn't give you blessing. <laughs> Lord might, Jesus might will do. give you it blessing when you, you kneel know, down. You know, invite people him. to Christianity. So what we see in the first one is yeah. actually I'm a bit disappointed why it came out, but we will we will hear again why it came out. While in the Quran. When you are divorced from first husband, you go and have sex for five minutes with someone else, he divorces you, and then you come back to your first husband, versus in the law of Moses, actually that doesn't work like that. You can't do that. You can If you divorced, your hardness is hardened, you are divorced, you can't go back to your first husband. Even if your husband, your husband is dead, Still, you can't go back to your first husband because what is marriage? Is? Shall I bring my my Bible if Can you want? Please do bring your Bible. You don't take the phone. You are gonna all. I'll use your. You're gonna hurt. Yeah, I'm stopping up.
Oh, I had to. He's back. So why are you bringing up a verse for me, which simply screams out, Allah is false God, Muhammad is false prophet, Islam is false religion, What's that and then contra... You can't... So if you're... In, yeah, it read says... Read a bit, he didn't hear that. I, 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 would, like, I, I would like to read, to read it. I would like to read it. I would like... If a man marry a woman <laughs> right. who become displeasing to him, what does that mean, displeasing to him? That means she's not pleasing him and bad. Excuse me, excuse me, where does it say that, Yahya? Do not ever force your interpretation into my scripture. Okay. It doesn't say that. Okay, let, let, let me carry on. Let me carry on. They are not getting on well. Okay. Yeah. It has nothing okay. about their sexual okay. life. Okay, okay, okay. Nice. Please be honest. Okay, okay. I, I'm going to be honest. With your honest glasses. Okay. With my honest glasses. Try, try. It, it can become displeasing to him because he's given the cause here. Yeah. Because he find something and okay. decent about her. Yeah. So Why if she has a wheelie? Are you going to still continue with her? I'm, I'm, I have uh, the no, conversation no, no, with, with, uh, Sorry, with Hatun. She, what is it if she's got a wheelie? <laughs> if, 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 if that person is a transsexual. So I, I yes. Uh, so uh, what? Is, <laughs> okay. So, so uh, this, see, this is what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. It's this is a growth <laughs> on her pussy. You know whatever. You know. Uh, please, please. Okay. Uh, let me. Go on, Mr. Bean. So uh, if her husband finds something indecent about her, yeah. Give you me explain it. See, you explain it the way you like. Okay. I'll, I'll give you an no, example. No, 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 no. I'll give you an Just example. Let me, let me carry on. I, I, I will let you to carry on. Okay. But when you butcher my scripture, I We're feel I'm you. obligated yeah. to step in okay. and then like help you. you to put your glasses on okay. and keep them on. Okay. So, okay. this is his an example. Okay. Okay. Brother married with a woman. Yeah. In three months into their marriage. Yeah. Okay. He is feeling, actually, her heart is not beating for him. He is feeling, no, actually, even though we know God's law, we have to marry until the end of our life, it's not going well. Marriage is not going well. It is not about, oh, she's got spots on her face. It is not about... She's bad in bed. Yeah, it is not about, like, she's... Bad in bed. She's or, not, like, nice woman, all, all yeah, those kind of things. It is, if they are hard... Yeah, it's not like she doesn't have six packs or those kind of things. Oh, it looks like yak yeah, yeah, yeah. So the indecent, so the indecent, according to you, not spot on her face, no. but uh, uh, harden in her heart. So if he feels that she have hardened she her heart, love me. Uh, uh, she doesn't love me. She doesn't love, love me. me. So he can kick her out of his house. Yeah. Not kick out. It doesn't say kick out. Okay, uh, carry on. You, you read, read the verse yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Ab about her and from his house. Send so I am divorcing you. Where you go, you go to your family's house. It yeah, is very you, similar in Islam. Yeah, Why do send you have a problem? Her, send her of his house. Yeah. That means he kick her out of his house. That kick means out. the house. No, kick out is like this, okay? Send her. No, just let, let's do the kick out, okay? Okay. Yeah, yeah? Sorry, I can't touch you. Um, you can touch me. You, brother, can, you can kick me sorry, if you want. You brother, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. Brother. So this is kicking out him from yeah. my house. Yeah, oh, go. Okay? And then take your shoes with you. Okay. Sorry, brother. So, so ah, okay. this is, this is sending back. Okay. Yahya, yeah, leave my house now. So according See the to difference? Okay. I pushed okay. him, I kicked him out, I locked the door, okay. I throw these shoes with him, and then, so, then I am sending you back to back to your house okay. and saying, leave my house now. Okay, okay. So I call, I, I, and okay. I'll, I'll give okay. you a thank you card if okay. you are British. Okay, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> if I agree with you, that means if I, uh, I, I defer this woman. No, I just identify I you send her my home. scripture. Now come back I, to the scripture. Okay, no, no, wait, let me explain. So he sent her out of his house. That means he has sent her to, her to her family's house. To her family. So he is sending her from his house. So the house they are sharing together is not her house, it's only his house. So According to who? According to your Bible. No, no. How, is it in Islam? How does it in Islam work? In Islam, she owns the house she and he should go house. out. Ah, she owns the house. Because according oh, well, to Quran, okay. let's, let's, according, to Quran according to Quran, according to Quran, لا تخرجوهن من بيوتهن. 
So the man who have to leave the house and leave his his wife and leave his family and he need to find another house. Let, let me and he well, let me explain. If he married another woman, he need to provide her with another house on his because he's the man is the, the one who's responsible for the women. This is what we said. The <laughs> men have advantage over women. And let now me let's let, let me just make a point. Respond. No, no, I'm going to okay, make respond, a point. Respond. I think it, it will be helpful respond, for respond. you to say the things in the context. Okay, respond. In John chapter 14, Jesus is talking about Jesus is going to go and prepare room for us. But we are not talking about Jesus. I we are talking. It, yeah, yeah, we are yes, not sir. talking about Jesus. Yeah, 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 Why yes, you bringing Jesus into the formula? Jesus, uh, Jesus has nothing to do with a man Jesus divorce his woman. Has everything to do with this. Now I'm going to make my point. Just patience. Yeah. patience. Put your patience glasses on. I'm very on. sorry. I'm very Put sorry. Put your patience glasses on. So, when men married in the Israelites, okay? <laughs> so you already live with your family. You don't go to, let's say this is like first century Israelites. You don't go, or let's say 14,000 BC Israelites. You don't move from this land to Turkey to ma bring your wife to Turkey. It doesn't work like that. Woman comes into your house, which you are specially building her, you are making room for her, where she's coming to share life with you. So when you divorce her... You kick her out. You send her home, yeah. Send her home. Thank yeah, you. send so her home. Send her back to her family. Yeah. That's how it works. That's how it works even in the time of Jesus. Okay, okay. that's the, how the setting is. Okay. I am sorry that you think as a Muslim man is not allowed you to build lots of houses for all the wives you are getting. I just wanted to point out, small point out, Mohammed failed to do that, but for all of his 12 wives. But anyway, continue. Let's go back to the scripture. So now continue with verse 2. Did you yeah, finish the verse 1? Let me get, hey, and, so, and, is after she leave his house, so she went to her home, she became... She gets the, married with another she, man. Yeah, a wife for another man. Yeah. So this is the second marriage for the same woman. Yeah. And her second husband divorces her. Dislike her. I don't why he dislike her and uh, uh, why he marry her if he dislike her, and and write her a certificate of divorce. Okay, I think I'm expert on this. Let me respond. Okay, you respond. So, you married with someone, okay? I looked at him. He's very nice uh, guy. My heart, my eyes are now like pumping as a heart. Okay. Yeah, heart. I love him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, in this stage, I am not. I am not concerned. I am not concerned if he is kind, if he is godly man. Yeah. What kind of church he is attending? Yeah. How is his uh, Bible readings? How yeah. is his scripture knowledge? If does he or not. does he love God with all of his heart? Yeah. Does he love fellow brothers and sisters all of his heart? Like a does Muslim. he love neighbors? <laughs> as well as he loves himself. Like Muslim, like me. So I'm not thinking about these things. All I am, so I, soon after I see him, my eyes, my eyes are not <laughs> popping. My eyes, what did you say? My eyes. Yeah, her eyes. Her my eyes. Eyes, eyes. eyes are yeah. Listen carefully. Listen. pumping, pumping <laughs> like heart. Okay. I, don't, I didn't think about his relationship with God. I didn't think about his relationship with the church. I didn't think about his relationship with the world. And then I'm saying, let's marry. You are just the man God made for me. We marry within two months, not even in two months, first week. What I notice is, uh-oh, my husband is not reading the Bible. My husband is not loving God with all of his heart, with all of his soul, with all of his mind. So what I do? I dislike you now. This is just example of 21st century. This dislike is not again, she has a spot. This dislike is not how they have sex, it has nothing to do with that. Now, as they get to know each other, their hearts is already hardened, while scripture says in the beginning. Actually, so what you would do with him if he, you find that he's not the way you like? In, in this story, yeah. you divorce him. So that's just so an example. That's just an example, example of dislike. Yeah. But so in Christian scripture, yeah. if 
he is my husband. Yeah. You're... I had to do my homework before I marry him. Ah, okay. So he has to like love yeah. God. If you didn't love God before we married, you're not gonna get married. For so... Start loving God. Uh, if if he if he wants. Now it is time. If uh, if he wants. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now he needs to start now. loving God. Okay. He needs to start loving the church. Okay. He needs to start loving the neighbor okay. because I cannot divorce him. Okay. I love if, God and I know God's heart doesn't want me to get okay, divorced. Okay. My question. So we make my marriage question. work. Right. How do we make marriage work? Yeah. Woman makes man yeah. to make man to think the things he likes to doing. Reading okay. the Bible, loving God, and then you start now. Okay. That's yeah. just an example. Uh, okay. the, uh, your example. So that's the example if, of. Uh, for example, if for example, if he was the way you like, and then he become atheist and he doesn't want, or he become Muslim, that you have to divorce him. That has nothing to do with the passage. No. Okay. All I did was I give you an example yeah, the from passage, the passage that when the passage, he disliked her. That's another okay. example. The, okay. How can they be disliked one okay. another the in passage, the beginning? They did not do homework okay. about the one another. The passage, it doesn't talk about the women sending her husband out, but it talk about the men sending her, uh, her, her uh, wife out. And even if she get married again from another man, the other well, man, he's allowed to send her to her family. So, so it, it why is very she, good. It is very and, good. And you are butchering. Time, now go back time. with me. Go back with me. Verse 2. And then let's continue to read it from verse 2. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you read it, you read it. I read it I'll, already. I read it and then I'll give you time uh, to comment. And the women, women, if she get married twice, she is uh, defiled for the land. Even she become like very filthy and according to this thing, what does that mean? Destable? Uh, destable. Destable. What does that mean? Destable in English? Destable. Yeah, what does that mean? Not good in the eyes of God. Something what? Not good in the eyes of God. So, so if a, if a woman get divorced twice from two men, she become uh, even filthy for the land, and even God he hate her. This is your Bible. Let me, let me respond. You just butcher the scripture again. I'm not butchering. You did. God doesn't I, I didn't say God hates anything. her. So now let me continue to read it. Now, first what we saw is, first, first thing I'll just let me summarize again. This passage proves. Muhammad is false prophet, Islam is false religion, Muhammad is false book because Surah 2, 230 goes against this. Okay, that's first one. Second point is we made How already. Can she bring Quran into this uh, and Muhammad into this? I don't understand. Because the prophet he didn't yeah, divorce yeah. only of his wife. He have eleven wife. He used to go and visit everyone. It every one of them have At one night mind. for herself. He sleep with them. Uh, and sleep uh, with and them, pleasure and them, sleep with them, yeah. and sleep with them, yeah. and sleep with them, and fondle them, yeah. and fondle them, and they had a bath with them while they were having their uh, carry on. Tiger, carry on. Carry on. Carry on. Carry on. Carry on. Yeah. So now, oh, carry on, carry on. Now we carry. identified first two verses. You intentionally misrepresented my scripture. Right. I am moving to the third verse. Okay. okay read Actually, it. we did the third verse. Third yeah, verse was, okay. and her second husband dislikes her and write her a certificate of divorce, gives it to her and send her from his house. Or if he dies, okay, I got divorced or my husband died. All right. What does it say? Listen this very carefully because this is the part screams out, like seriously screams out, how false Prophet Muhammad is, <laughs> how false God Allah is, and how you've got to get on your knee, on your knees, and say Jesus is Lord. Listen very carefully. Is not that then, the law of listen, Jesus when he was God the Father carefully. only? Is that no, no? My question isn't that the law of God, of Moses, who sent it to the Israeli? Listen now. Listen no, no. Now. Like, this is your God. Law. Who divorced her? If is not allowed to marry her again after she has been defiled. Her first husband cannot marry with her, even though her husband is dead now. Why? Because marriage doesn't work like that, Yahya. If her husband she is dead, he cannot marry her. First husband. If her husband is dead, he cannot marry her again. We are talking, she just said, if, if her, her husband, husband died, dead, he husband. cannot 
current husband died, she can't go back to the first husband because she has been defiled. Why? That would, that would be detestable in the eyes of the Lord. Do not bring sin upon the land of the Lord. So marriage is the sin. Your God is given to you as inheritance. So marriage this is the sin. Let, 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 let me let, yeah, let yeah, me finish your yeah, finish, finish. While while Israelites are getting into the land which God promised them, which was supposed to be for 11 days, but they being unfaithful to God, that took 40 days. As they are getting ready for the promised land, God is telling you, you will see people who are just sleep, getting married, getting married, getting married and then they might be going back to their first husband. Don't be like them. Don't do it. Because that does not please me. That's all it says. Now, uh, okay. since we identified, mm. the verse which you brought confirms Islam is false religion, Muhammad is false prophet, Quran is false book, all of those things, Yahya. Yeah. How does it make you feel yeah. knowing <laughs> your prophet, your beloved prophet, simply, not only, when the revelation um, against. Went against the revelation which God given to him, given to the prophets, but also went against the law of Moses. Yeah, does yeah, it break yeah. your heart yeah. or does it make your heart jump out of joy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I respond to that? Yeah. Sure, I love to hear about your heart. <laughs> uh, that brings us to the way your God come to being. We open come Matthew. To be, come to be Come to being. Be, okay. uh, we open Matthew. We go to uh, uh, 18, 19, 20. Matthew 1, 18. verse number 18. And we go down. His mother, Mary, war, was a pledge to be married to Joseph. But before they came together, she was fine to be with the child through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was a righteous man, and did not want to expose her in public, uh, in pub to public disgrace, he had a mind to divorce her quietly. So your your God, when he want to beget himself, why <laughs> couldn't he find somebody not to be pledged uh, to be married to Joseph or Moses or uh, or uh, or Anton or uh, or Tony or somebody else? Why didn't your Father, the Holy Spirit, find somebody not to be pledged to someone to get to beget himself out of. And according to you, if uh, according to the teaching of Jesus, if a divorcee woman she get married, she's committing adultery, and your own God, he's overshadowing somebody who pledged to be married to Joseph. How he allow himself? to overshadow her to beget himself. Let me respond to that. Respond. Just, just a quick confirmation. Yeah. As a Christian, I don't believe Father is the Holy Spirit, okay? Father and Holy Spirit are two different persons Fair in enough. Godhead. Just Fair please, Fair please don't make that such a mistake. Yeah, yeah, now, uh, we notice... Because I don't have the Holy Spirit question, in me. I'm not Christian. I don't have don't the Holy Spirit. Don't give excuse, man, with excuse. On the I don't have the... If the Those Holy Spirit will overshadow me. I'm not going to help you in any form, in any shape, in any second. Okay, so, you now, respond, you now. respond. So my question was very simple. That's make you feel. Have you noticed that no answer to my question? Nothing. My question was, how does it make you feel knowing your prophet went against the revelation of God plus went against the law of Moses? Yeah, yeah. And he force people to practice that. That's disgusting. I think Yahya doesn't even have any thoughts on that. That's very heartbreaking. Because but the prophet had, had Sharia now, law. But the prophet wasn't a Jew but and now, he had Sharia me, law. No, no, that I'm That doesn't you. work with me, Yahya. Reason, you can't, that doesn't work with me now because Surah 381. Yeah. He came to confirm yep. everything prophets, <laughs> prophets taught. Yep. He <laughs> came to confirm that. Yeah. Yeah. Why yeah. Why he failed to confirm because, Deuteronomy part? Because yeah. Sharia anyway. law came to Gentiles, <laughs> not to the Jew. Not to the Jew. <laughs> because the Jew, the Jew, they have... Sick, no. I will, I will uh, give sorry, you time, sorry, I will give you time sorry. to work on your answer because that okay. answer is going to butcher okay. you. Okay? So, okay. So, so, sorry. Now, 
Let me let me join with Yahya. Okay. Battery. The battery. Just, just give me a second. Okay. Okay. So let me let me just express what is Yahya is concerned. All right. Yahya is not concerned. About <laughs> King of kings, yeah. Lord of lords, yeah. eternal word of God. Lord Jesus Christ steps into the world to make salvation possible for humanity. Yahya doesn't con concern about that. Nothing. All Yahya, says, Yahya is concerned is he concerns <laughs> for Joseph. Oh. He concerns for Joseph Maybe. because Mary was pledged to marry with Joseph. Now, because Mary is having a baby, Joseph is going to divorce her. Oh. That's Yahya's concern. Okay. But I have better concern and bigger concern for you. Yeah. <laughs> the, the one who made universe, the stars, he knows them by name. The one who, like the power of his word, holds every cell in perfect form. That one steps into the world in the intention I love you so much, I concern for you, I care for you, and I want you to spend your eternity with me, and this only can be possible if I become truly man, truly God, end up in this broken world without running shoes, without iPhone, without internet. Can you imagine? No. God lived when there was no internet. God lived, God lived <laughs> among us TV. when there was no TV. God lived among us when there was no Indian curry. <laughs> God Indian lived curry. among us Poor. when there was no falafel. Poor God. There was no yet, McDonald as well. Yet, he chose to step <laughs> he into the world. He didn't enjoy the McDonald. Yeah, yeah. yeah, sorry. Yet, he chose to step into the world because the one we don't deserve it whatever we do whatever we want to do we will never deserve it but he loves us so much he just pours his love down on us again on us again on us pours his grace upon us and he is willing to live in those conditions as truly God man and not only living in those conditions he goes upon that cross gives his life for humanity for so that we can spend our eternity in the bosom of the Father. That's what Lord Jesus does. But all your concern is, wow, well, engagement between Mary and Joseph is shaking up because God chose drunk people. They were already engaged. Isaiah chapter 7 can I respond? gives us the reason, gives us the reason. Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. The virgin will be with a child and, he will, and will give birth to a son and will be, we will call him Emmanuel, God with us. And we get to hear about that child. Okay, listen this very carefully. That child, okay, Lord is going to appear, God man from this virgin woman will enter, this, enter the world and it says, yeah, yeah listen this very carefully. For to us child is born, to us son is given and government will be on his sho sho shoulders, 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 and he will be called wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting father. Prince of Peace. Peace. And then it goes on and goes on. And then it says, yeah, yeah. The increase of this government and government and peace, there will be no end. He will reign on the David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness. From that time on and forever. The zeal of Lord Almighty will accomplish this. And in that darkness, when people intentionally running away from the light, I don't know why Lord chose Mary, as I don't know 
why God chose me and decided to give his life for me. But God did that for humanity. And amazing thing is, Mary, mother of Jesus, mother of God, mother of God, yeah, yeah. Church, church calls her, her mother of God, mother of God, man, mother of God, yeah, faithfully accepts the plan of God and says, okay, Yes, if you thought in this broken world. If you told in this broken world, Can where everyone is hunting for truth, where everyone is hunting for peace, if you told I can take part, it is just privilege for me that I am happy to have Lord Jesus in my tummy. And nine months after that, Mary, mother of Jesus, give birth to God, man. It is amazing. But can you allow me to respond instead of preaching for half an hour? Okay, let me change. It is I, I guess uh, you, you did what just you wait, do, wait, do wait, to do. Wait, wait. He's changing the camera. There is a danger. As a brother and like humanity, I'm not, he's I'm not, not like the voice I'm married, you know, I'm not. married. I'm married. I, I don't uh, follow uh, desire for men. <laughs> anyway, yes, make, anyway, what you, wh what you, what you have said, Okay, that the divorcee woman, yeah. divorcee woman is committed adultery, while your God chose Mary to share, to share Joseph with his children. So God chose Mary, chose Mary to beget himself, and one and she become the mother of God. Then the same woman, the same woman Mary, she married Joseph and have brother and sister we, 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 for the man God Jesus so he have a uh, brother and law with God while while she talk about the Prophet Muhammad Prophet Muhammad after his death none of his 11 wife was allowed to marry and sleep with other people while your God I don't find him have any dignity that he beget himself from a woman he allow a man to sleep with her and get brother and sister for the man God. This is, I find, offensive and degrading for God. Second, your God to come to this life, to this life, he couldn't find a woman who are virgin and still, after she beget him, is still single. But now she need uh, Joseph who was commanded in a vision according to uh, the angel of the Lord to keep his mouth shut and to be to to because his intention Joseph was to divorce her but he didn't want to expose her and he wanted didn't want couldn't divorce her because of the angel and the vision told him shut your mouth and keep it on and keep this woman because she married she is with, uh, she have the holy spirit have overshadow her and he's begetting himself I don't know which the father okay. is the father of Jesus or the Holy Spirit is the father of Jesus or Jesus is the father of himself. To be honest with this triune God you're talking about, I'm lost, you know, because even according to Jesus, the Lord our God is one and you say the, the Lord our God is one and three and three and one, discounted God for everyone. Let me respond. Uh, cool. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna pick, up, I'm not gonna respond on your last, last points where you kind of just relevant, yeah. try to, try to prove Islam is false ideology again. I'm not gonna pick that one. We can discuss that another time. Let me pick up last second point. Um, what was the last second? Yeah, she forget. She's not listening <laughs> to me exactly. She, she ah, forget. Yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. She remember. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Well done, guys. Well Remember, done. Probably I'm having my period today. And women, are ah, she's women are deficient. Women are deficient. Ah, okay. And sometimes <laughs> we can forget. Even I forget. Sorry, I'm. Uh, I bring ah, this. Ah, okay. Actually, actually, it is disappointing to hear the version you are giving to us. Okay. Because what happened between Gabriel and Joseph and Mary? Yeah. If Joseph needed to keep his mouth shut. This book 
would not tell us, this book would not tell us Mary was virgin. Oh. This book would not tell us what happened. So I believe clearly, she was virgin. Clearly, yes, she was. She is virgin. She, she was is, virgin. She was virgin. But yes. If Joseph needed to keep his mouth shut, that means no one would know that Mary is virgin. But it is in scripture because Gabriel did not appear to Joseph in the intention keep your mouth shut. That wasn't the intention. Read it. Intention is the world is broken, the darkness is taking over the light, and God, out of his love, God the Father loves the world so much, and he gives his son in the intention that the light will overcome the darkness. That's all it is. That's it. That's all it is. It is not Joseph. I am going to do something dodgy here. Keep your mouth shut or I will take your life. I think you are thinking the story of Muhammad. <laughs> I don't want to get in that one, but it looks like you are thinking about the story of Muhammad. Okay. Keep your mouth shut or I will kill your story. Okay. But that's not the story You're which fine. Bible gives us. Yeah. Bible, God revealed himself to the people and his revelation to the people in many different ways. And one of them was the true visions and dreams. And Joseph was part of God's big plan. And he has been faithful to God. And he become earthly father, not earthly father, legal, uh, father. legal, father. legal. father, legal father for God, man, Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, okay. And that's all it is, Yahya. I am sorry, I don't have time to bring up yeah. what Muhammad did to the people when yeah, they you, needed yeah, to yeah. Yeah, well, keep I their mouth shut. That's the first thing. Second thing is, Actually, I'm not sure why you are having problem when Lord Jesus Christ steps into this broken world, gives his life on the cross for humanity, and then gives us opportunity for salvation for those who are repented. You are thinking that actually God is breaking in an engagement or in a relationship. Yahya, I don't know. There are billions, billions people out there. I don't know why God loved me so much and gave his life for me. I look at this brother, he's kind, he's nice, but I really don't know what God saw in him that he gave reason, well, his son for him. I don't know. No, no, as well you. as I don't know what God saw in Mary, in Virgin Mary, yeah. and then asked so, Virgin no. Mary to carry God man in her tummy. But all it tells me something. God whom created everything out of his love for God the Son, okay? He created everything. He trusted his son to a virgin for her to carry in her tummy for nine months. God didn't send his son as a king, as a Summarize, warrior. Summarize, I'm summarizing. summarizing. Listen summarize. carefully. He didn't send his son as a king, as a warrior, okay. as an adult. But he trusted his one and only son to a virgin and then put that son in the tummy of virgin and virgin was responsible to look after my god virgin was responsible to feed him make sure he doesn't have broken feet make sure he doesn't have it he doesn't cry at night make sure he sleeps well it just tells me god loves me so much that he trusted his one and only son to a child. He didn't send his son to King Hezekiah. He didn't send his son. Herod, Herod. Herod. Or Herod, but Hezekiah like Hezekiah. Hezekiah was one of one of the good prophets. He didn't send his son to Isaiah in the time of Isaiah. He chose to use Mary and he trusted that woman to look after God man. And today that God trusted me to tell you one day before it is too late, Yahya, you will bow down 
and tell that Jesus Christ is Lord. There is no any other option for you. One day you have to, you are gonna say that. But God puts me here today, I don't know why, God puts me here today and then says, if you don't repent today, if you don't repent before you die, on the day of judgment, you will be bound down to Lord Jesus Christ unwillingly. And that's gonna be horrible because I know where is my place. My place is where Jesus is. And as he died and he resurrected on the third day, and according to John chapter one, he came from the bosom of the Father, that is my place. He offers me place ah. in the bosom of the Father where he is. <laughs> Versus, that offer is up to you as well. If but if you today problem, reject and feel sorry for Joseph, feel sorry for Joseph's engagement, it's not gonna take you anywhere. May yes, I respond? That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. That was a wrap up from you, wrap up from her. Can you, can you please give up Muhammad? Yeah, leave Islam, can you uh, please uh, Mr. Bean. Give up the Quran. <laughs> can leave you Islam, please Mr. Bean, we love you. Identify Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and as your Savior. Yeah. I am afraid and my heart is breaking because I know heart of my God breaks. <laughs> you are going to end up in hell and it's going to be a very terrible place for you. I would say only one thing. Yeah, I will say only one thing. <laughs> we will have a lot of discussion in the next weeks. All right. uh, I invite you to the Father Reference. of Jesus, John 17:3, the only true God, and whom Jesus say that He is His Father and He is His God. So Jesus is that not the Father and not, not the, the Son at the same time. Because no, Jesus, I the Christian Jesus, the uh, Jesus, I, I didn't interrupt. If, I told you if you put your my scripture, I did step in. I didn't and interrupt. Can you please show me your scripture? I did it. Yeah. I, did it. I didn't interrupt. Let me finish. <laughs> Let me finish. <laughs> Jesus teach us. <laughs> Jesus teach us. Uh, the Father is greater than the Son. So the Son is not as equal as the Father. And Jesus teaches us that the Father is the only true God. John 17, 3. Stop uh, bullshitting yourself and de deceiving yourself. Uh, you, you, you heard me well. You are deceiving yourself. You are, and you are the one who are going to bow down and have fire and I will bow down next to Jesus yeah. to the true only true God who is Allah Yahweh, Yahweh. Allah Yahweh he yeah. never called Jesus he never called Yahweh he called him Allah Elahi Allah <laughs> yeah go go and read go and read yeah, no, no, don't start again. Don't start topic. again. Don't start topic. again. No, I'm not going to start, start again. again. We... I finished with you, but I just wanted to identify on you your conclusion statement. All you did was changing the topic. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. let me finish. The topic is let Jesus is no God let me and finish. never is. Let me finish. Is finish. Jesus with the, with the is Messiah. Messiah. Christ. The prophet of the Jews. Especially with the passage you picked, Yahya. Okay? Listen very carefully oh, you, you listen you listen this Father, is your listen, listen, listen. your contradiction bible glorify your son that your son may glorify you what the glorification you're talking king. about is the humiliation oh, death people, on the cross that he might give uh, what kind of a glorification you talk about guys him. Uh, wake not up not this is eternal wake up not this is eternal life it's not the glory it's a humiliating death on Curse Jesus, your God is cursed on the cross. Anyone who is of Jesus who is die on the cross or, or hang, that's that it, is man, correct. Man, that's it. That's a glorification. Listen, no, listen to me. Okay, okay. Listen to me. That they may know you. Yeah, the only, the only true, true God, God and Jesus Christ, Je whom you have sent. Yeah, uh, the I messenger. Have brought you glory on earth by completing the work you have given me to do. Yeah. And now, May God Father, have mercy on your soul. Glorify me in your presence with the glory, glory. I had with you before the world May God, began. May God Father, have mercy on you. I want those you have given to me be with me where I am and to see my glory. The glory with you 
had given me because you loved me before the creation of the world. Yeah, may God have mercy on you. That's it, Mr. B. May, may God have mercy on you. That is may the God, God have mercy who on you. Fall in love with us. That is the God who offers place in the bosom of the may, Father for us. May God have mercy on you. May God have mercy on you. A glory or b brutal humiliation, curse, death for you, you poor people. Thank you guys. Thank you very much.